Uh, wow, okay. I hope that wasn't my general or my ruler dying. And it would have cost me two stab if it was a ruler death. This I don't like. Cheng Sheng don't want to be my friend anymore. I need to do something about this on the double. Why don't they like me? I don't think we share any uh, lands of vital interest. They just don't like me. I think it's because... Uh, because I am a rival to one of their allies, Liang. Mm, we still have our royal ties, though. I could try improving relations further. That might just keep them on the cusp. Not holding my breath on that one, though. Diviet and La Na. Also, Ayutthaya is getting up on the development ladder. It's something to be concerned about. Brunei and Ayutthaya no longer are rivals. Ayutthaya hates Vijayanagar. They still hate Ning. I love successful bureaucracies. And this is going to go my way. Especially when we have two siege helping out. And a cannon. Oh, for the love of God, I, it, I, I was trying, trying so hard to repair what we had. <sighs> Ooh. Alright, I think maybe we will finally see Marvin take the throne here. Not a bad consort either, to everlasting friendship. I don't even mind our uh, ruler dying if this is what we have. A zealot, no less. This I like. <laughs> Jake, what ideas have you taken? I took and finished economics so that I could reform away from being tribal. I have also taken defensive, but I'm not fleshing it out because military tech 12 is so much more important. Like, you have no idea. Why do you not want me as an ally? I'm certain it's the whole Liang situation. They feel claustrophobic here. But why don't you expand it to Dali? Come on. I hate Dali. And then again, that's something that we lack. A shared interest in people that we hate. Ning is a better friend than you, but Ning stabbed me in the back once before. I would not be surprised if they did it again. Oh well, it was bound to happen. On the plus side, I can now fight Cheng Sheng. I don't have a subject that I can really feed there, but I can feed the most important person in this campaign. By the gods, Vijayanagar finally did it. Probably too little too late since uh, Bengal's friends are still involved in all this. Well, Cheng Sheng... Yeah... Okay, it's because both of their rivals were my allies. I would have had to... Uh, yeah. Liang and Ning were getting in the way there, and I wasn't about to change either of those for you, but I can still keep good relations. There's no reason that we can't still be friendly, even though uh, you don't want to be allies. Not all alliances are like that. Not looking for everlasting friendship here. Please get off of me. Well, my, my subjects are already going for that. I also like quite how many units my uh, subjects are able to field, and the fact that they're getting themselves religiously unified. Look at that beautiful Bhutan. It'd be more beautiful like if I got Chang Tang and Ngari for them. But we'll get there. Don't you worry, girly. Bloody Ayutthaya. So, there's really no two ways about it. This land all belongs to Shun. I'm not going to keep Shun around for too much longer. I just want them to get their cores back and I will integrate them. They were purely there so I could expand aggressive expansion. Uh, not aggressive expansion free, but lower aggressive expansion around here. And uh, Xi'an I also want because it's such high development. Hell, I want it all. But I might have to hang around for a wee bit. Since, let's face it, even with the 25% reduction... Oh, wow! Only Liang and uh, Chin would want to coalition me over that. And 
Wait, Chin... Do I even care? <laughs> the answer is I do not. That's really good. Quid's in on this one. I would like for them not to exist, but if I took that, it would be uh, quite a lot more aggressive expansion than nothing. Then again, would give me uh, a bit more expansion opportunities up in the north. Nobody really seems to like Chi. They're about to lose their only ally, and I could capitalize on that, especially since their tech is garbage. Do they have anybody worth um, feeding cores to around here? I wish I knew the area a bit better. There is Jin. And you know what? I like Jin. Give me some Bombay Sapphire or some. Uh, oh, any of it, I'll take it. But still, it doesn't, I'm not so familiar with the Chinese cores around here. It may or may not be in, the, in, in my interest to take Yan'an for myself. But, why don't I just give it to my subject? He'll probably like it. Well, Shun can look after that one. And <laughs> goodbye you, never even cared. Jake, is Asia the plan simply because you can't go west right now? Yeah, essentially. Not that I can't, but boy, it ain't easy. Thrusting into this or this, neither of them are particularly ideal. I mean, I guess I could, but wow, would it be tough. Oh, hmm. If Cheng Sheng were kind enough to break that royal marriage that we have, I'd free up myself a Diplo slot for potentially getting Vijayanagar on my pain train. Not sure if they'd see it that way, but... Also, nah, Ning can handle a few U.S. We have become one of the great powers. Amazing power. Overwhelming power is now in our fingertips. Why don't you surrender this land to me then? Now, I know Liang is not about to surrender Jack, even though they're at war with these other guys. And if I were to declare war... Well, Ning wouldn't help. Chang Sheng already doesn't like me. And what is even a Korea? That's risky. And Chang Sheng allied. I, I, I hate you so much. I, I, I hate the Chinese. I hate the Indo-Chinese. I just hate them all. Wu would not help you. This is why I kind of should have taken the land for myself, but... I have to be wary of aggressive expansion in the region. Jake, how about making it so you can click on the shield of a dead tag to get a version of diplomatic map mode showing their cores? Brilliant idea. Protecting us Chagatai, but they got 27 and I have 20 not. I'm not far away from 27 and to be honest I should be puffing my chest out a bit more since I have the dosh. Yeah, sure. Why not? So I got 26, and I only need to get to 27. I can go with that. I think one more cavalry and a few more cannons will help out on that uh, on that front. I haven't really been thinking about uh, how to set my armies around, but we make do with what we have. Composition, you know, it's just a word. I still want to fight Chagatai, I just don't want some huge war going on. Then again, the guy just engaged in some other war. Okay, it's only with Karaka, uh, Karaki Yunlu. And they seem to bring in everybody on their side here. Timurids inclusive. Georgia, Hassa, Trebizond. Hmm. Conquer Xiang Rai. Where and what is even Xiang Rai? Ah, well, trust me, I'd love to fight them. Oh, Ayuta lost an ally. It's Dali. <laughs> Dali's gonna die. I hate you so much, Dali. I think you found your next pre-stream DMCA, Jake. It's Pet Shop Boys. Go, go. I like the Pet Shop Boys, so 
Uh, you wouldn't have to talk me into that whatsoever. Not only have you lost your alliance there, Lana hates you. Lana hates me, but they also hate you. Cheng Sheng hates you. Dai Viet hates you. I hate you. Finally, the day for Dali to die is upon us. Time to build up some claims. Rev up that utter lack of aggressive expansion in the region. They're gonna have to die. I really hope Ning takes care of this, though. I don't want to see uh, some nasties spilling out here. Soon I'm gonna have my beloved mountainous fort for him to just drink from. Oh, he's gonna die. Should probably try to make sure that the guys around here don't really want to be throwing uh, nasty things my way. Should also reorganize my units. Make him suffer, Jake. <sighs> I can't one shot him, but I can reduce him to his horrible increased. Hold on. No, I don't think Diviate have lost any cores here, so it's horrible to still see the increased coring cost, but hey ho. That Dali land belongs to me. Now, welcome to the family, Darhol. I want to get that uh, Rance emote up, but I've lost my opportunity for it. Alright, so I'm going to march you guys in here when it's a new month. There we go, and then I'm going to organize. Koch still needs to be done. I can't just throw the... Well, do I really want this to be at? Yeah, why not? I'm going to take it over eventually, right? Right. Well, I'll just core it all up, hand it over to the clergy, and tell them, get converted. And done. It's not the most elegant, but it's a couple of reasonable stacks. And I always say, as soon as I have two stacks at my disposal, everything dies. Jake, give us a shameless plug for free Amazon Prime subscriptions. If you have Amazon Prime, subscribe to someone. Subscribe to someone that you think really deserves uh, Amazon's money, because it ain't your money. Ain't Twitch's money, but it could be that streamer's money. No, I just want to hit 250 so I can get the 10th uh, emote. Then I never have to care about subscriber numbers ever. Well, I don't like spending lots of money right now. I don't have lots of money to spend right now. No, I'm kidding. I, I make plenty of dosh. Unlike Dali, who's going to make plenty of die. Can you do something with your great power actions, Jake? Uh, maybe it's worth exploring these, because this is the first time I've done a stream where I am a great power. I can force people to break alliances. I'm not very strong, so they're probably not going to say yes. Well. Well. Ooh, boy, that's so close. My dip rep is uh, hurting things there. I would need to be quite a bit stronger. Really, I can only pick on the very, very weak nations with uh, Break Alliance right now. And if you don't have a Cassus Belly on someone, they, they really don't care what you have to say. I think I'll just get one claim and go ham on Dali. There is no reason to wait around when I could be slaughtering them senselessly. No, just kidding. There is a lot of sense to the slaughter here. Militarist and Pegu, you say? To shreds, you say? Ning is breaking up with Liang, so there's a big rupture in Chinese politics here. And it's getting scary because we have the North in China and the Southern China. Fortunately, Ning, who's on my side, is the considerably stronger of the two. I'm not about to take on anyone's debt here, even if they do have it. And intervene in war won't matter unless there's um, great powers involved. Jake, how many subscribers do you have now to get that rants up? I have 243. If I had 7 more, then we'd be able to get rants. And I have rants ready to go to the point where I would just slap him in immediately. 
because the numbers ebb and flow with uh, all the Amazon subscribers because they only get it for one month and they have to remember to resubscribe and whoever remembers that junk. I wouldn't, so I don't hold it against others that don't. I'm close to getting tech 12, but I should use that opportunity to crush these guys. Also, what I should be doing is carving my way down here to get closer to Langshang. Because if I had them as a subject, they have so many cores that I could be feeding back. Jake, I thought you would give Bhutan's land to the Prussia of the East. I thought about that, but then I thought I love Bhutan, so Bhutan can have all the Tibetan land. I wonder if you'll give me a uh, land now that I'm a great power. <laughs> of course you wouldn't. I still want to fight uh, Chagatai. Uh, not Chagatai. Yes, Chagatai, actually. They're still allied with Nagai. Hey, Nagai, I come from the middle of nowhere, but would you mind breaking up with uh, Chagatai? Or other way around. Close, but not quite. Their huge amount of debt makes them want to. This gives me great amuse. Now, cheers everyone who's wanting to help get rants in on the picture. Literally. Mm, that's how you tie his ticket to catching up in Miltech. Institutions are looking. Uh, well, there's no colonialism to be heard of around here. Oh, wow! I don't know what I did, but I managed to uh, crash my game. Fortunately, it looks like my save files are intact. Hold that thought whilst I try to grab that because that means I need to go in and fix it in the office tomorrow, although it could already be fixed in 1.19. Dum de dum dum. EU4, logs, exceptions.log, and uh, okay, there we go. So then I grab my dump. Let's just zip that one up, add to archive, and crashed at home. And I'm going to back up my save file there as well, so that I know what happened. Okay, let's get back to our regularly scheduled program. In the meantime, yeah, okay, and you people would uh, jump on the grab my dump there. Good to know we bring in the most cultured and civilized people. Well, welcome to the family, Bard Sword and Hartross. Man, subscriber pushes really make me burn on the inside, like, shouldn't be doing this, but I love Rance. He wants to love you too. Damn, that is one good-looking Manipur. The border gore isn't so bad. Okay, this is horrible. That's all the more reason that Ava needs to die. I'm so excited at the prospect of killing everyone around me. I think... I genuinely think the AI is cheating in this game. They purposely crashed my game, so I'd reload and go, No, no, I've, I've always been allied to Liang. Why, why would you think otherwise? You cockroach. I hate Dali so much. It's hard to really, really tell you how much I hate Dali. I hate Dali so much. I hate the Chinese. And the only people in this whole place that I love are the Chins. <sighs> okay. AI. Maybe, maybe you want to break that alliance with Liang, or maybe they want to break the alliance with uh, with you. They got a, quite a lot of alliances, though. This is an opportunity, as it were, for me to actually fight Liang without calling in their laundry list of allies, and I can get Ning in in all of this as well. Because I could go, hey Ning, yeah, you can have that land that you've always wanted. I'm ten years away from calling in Ning without favours anyway. So I wonder why you broke up with uh, Ayutthaya. I mean, you're mutually friendly. 
you probably want that alliance back. Maybe what I should do is strike hard and fast anyway, because when it comes down to it, Ning is on par with Liang in terms of strength. Liang might have the, the likes of Nanjing, but Ning have the south. I could just have these two slaughter each other. I would fight Dali. When has Pegu ever given me trouble? Hell, Pegu is... Pegu's pretty much on my side. Maybe they would want to... Yeah, they're so close, but they're, they're a trustworthy bunch, sadly. <laughs> they're oddly close to wanting to give me that as well. Yeah, but no, other people are not willing to give up for me. And Nogai are not going to get exhausted by that war. Okay. Jake Kol Ning versus Liang. I think I... I think I will. I... I... I think that province is going to go unless Chagatai go and defeat it for us. Alright, well I should be paying my units in preparation for this war. The difference about previous wars is that now I have the strength to actually fight back. And boy do I have the strength. You might have the old economic quality, but your caravan power is no match for my power power. Ally Pegu for the duration of the war, but Pegu are in the war. They will be in the war. Alright, what do I want for me here? I think I might want Puer, but I could take uh, Sibsong Bana. And since that's an easy one for me to take. Lana is unlikely to rent Condottieri to their enemy here. Ayutaya is very likely to give Condottieri since they hate me and they border them. Eh, uh, militarist. They're careful, though. Uh, so what's up with you? You're just an agricultural visionary. Ning have administrative offensive. So on the battlefield, Ning might even slaughter Liang, but Ning might be lacking on many things. I need to get a good rundown of what I have on my side here and what I'm going to be facing. Because Liang is strong. Liang have shown that they are strong. They are 50,000 strong. Holy Christ, they outdo Ning 2 to 1. How and why so strong? If we look at Ning here, they got 25, no manpower. Liang have manpower. Well, kind of. Why they got to be so in my face here? Maybe it's because they knew I wanted to fight Dali and they saw that as their opportunity. 50,000 Liangs. That's a lot of Liangs. Haishi, Chingshong, there's a lot to be doing here. Okay. We just need uh, one sub and we can get uh, Rance's face up there to appease the weeb crowd. And that's probably what's going to send a lot of people to un uh, unsubscribe, but it is what it is. Damn, this bothers me somewhat. It's to the point where I'd almost rather fight Ayutaya. Ayutaya brings less to the table than Liang does. Well, kind of. They're not so hot on their tech. I'll admit, I'm not so hot on this uh, whole fighting Liang business. I'd have a better time fighting uh, Chagatai at this rate, I'd say. Can't gun Liang, damn Dali and their crash. I think it's a very good way to destroy myself here. Because I'd be fighting 20, maybe 30,000 Dali, 20,000 from Pegu, 55 to 60k of Liang, and whatever Condottieri Ayutaya spit out at me. Conversely, I could be getting my cores back for Shun and integrating Shun, which is the clever thing for me to do. Hell, we should be starting that right now. I'm still going to be grabbing my claim on you, though. On Sispong Bana. And I think that's what we'll do. We'll head north to Chagatai. They're fighting Karadel, but... I mean, really, what... What can Chagatai and the guy offer? Maybe I should actually run some stats on that, just in case. Because the guy is a... Uh, the guy's a beast, but I think I could take them on. 
And look at Chagatai, they're a joke. Joke nation. I would quite like to see some maps though, especially of this area. Mongolia, Central Asia, anything like that would help. But I wouldn't be nearby, would I? What the hell? I don't think these guys are going to be... Uh... I don't think it's in my interest to be fighting them right now. Just putting that one out there. Well, perhaps not in my best interests to be fighting them. Plus, I'm kind of close to getting... This right here, even though uh, colonialism not being embraced is hurting us quite badly right now. Yeah, welcome to the family. It feels more like welcome back to the family. Zergle means I can uh, throw some rants into the uh, into the subs. Hey, why don't I just do that right now? We'll just have this run nice and slow. And then we'll grab some uh, almost naked rants. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, well, don't worry, you don't have to. Nogai is all Nogai, though. Seems they pushed Muscovy back. Yeah, we don't know what really happened to Muscovy. I'm keen to see this map unveiled so we can see what's going on with that. This Ming plosion might have led into much more dangerous foes than the Mandate of Heaven nerfed Ming. Yeah, I do think the Ming plosion has come to hurt me because it's really jostled up the, jostled up the everything. Now Liang is not about to surrender that, but I just need one war to break out here that really scuppers things. And if Liang goes to war with Ning, I doubt they're going to be able to bring in the likes of Dali. Dali don't want that land yet yet, because the day will come that they do, but I should probably just be gunning you down whether or not Nagai helps. Nagai's enjoying that delicious debt, though. But I want this land back for Shun, and I'm going to go for it. But it's coming up to midnight, and we've got triple seven viewers, which is a lucky sign to actually get out of here. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Cheers for joining Manipur. People keep wanting us dead. I don't know why. We're such nice guys, but... Uh... Will it ever stop? I don't think it will. Gianagar seems to have pieced out here. Don't know if it was... Yeah, I don't think it was too good since they lost six development there. But that's their problem. Someday I will be gunning down Bengal. And I can't wait for it. But that'll be another day. It'll potentially be tomorrow. I have some plans for tomorrow. But from tonight, for me, for now... Change between this and the dev stream. I've been doing quite a bit. But in any case, cheers and cheerio.